Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Undertale. So last time, you know, we beat Flowey and Asgore and we supposedly made it out of there. But then Flowey was like, you know, we should go back and try and make friends with everybody. So here we are, we're gonna make friends with everybody. So we're gonna go try and do the thing with Alphys. Okay, this is what I was trying to trigger before. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus, this was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! All right, there we go. So I'ma just uh, magically appear in front of uh, Papyrus's house. Okay, okay, see you there. And just like Sans, I have appeared. Hi, Undyne! Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I, I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. And letter to Papyrus? Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and write. That's why she asked you. Because you have no standards. Excuse you, I have the highest of standards. Oh my god, the letter's not to Papyrus. Yeah, Undyne's got a point. Why didn't she write a letter to me instead? Fine, you want a letter? I'll give you a letter. You get an F. Oh no! What's the F for? Friendship! Oh my lord. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm going to do some sans tomfoolery and we're back in... No, not yet. Let me try that again. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it works that way. We're, we're just going to fast travel. I don't, I don't think I have Sans' uh, tomfoolery shortcut thing. And we're here. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Yes! You slide the letter under and give it a knock. Uh, oh no! Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Jesus, what did you need to open? A freaking laser? H hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god? D did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you wrote that way. It's surprising too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um... This? And so passionately too. Mm. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah Let's go on a date. Excuse me. Dating start? Question mark? Come on, there's the actual question mark. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Ba bam Look at Alphys. She dick. My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, uh... Anyway, let's do this thing. Alright. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. I'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go play a dating sim now just because of this. Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I, I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. But first, I've got... Some metal armor polish. Um, I don't have any armor. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, 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 I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. 
Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating! Start! For real this time. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Can I have an option? We're just gonna stare at each other awkwardly? Uh, do you like anime? Yes! Hey, me too! Talk about Golden Wind. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Um, hmm. Yeah, because I'm a piece of garbage. This is where Diane and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really, uh... Forceful. Oh no. That's her over there. I, I, I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you delivered that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Nah! Have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Literally right past you. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I j just figured, y you know, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Oh my god, she was giving me a pity date. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my heart it hurts. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. And thanks the person I um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. N not that you aren't, um, cool. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong, funny. I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm a royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I told her so many lies. She thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll, and find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> That's depressing. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared of what will happen to people in the truth on their own. They all get hurt because of me. How can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have any confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Uh, yeah, let's roleplay her. Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> Ahem. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? <laughs> You're cute. Th thanks. You say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But you know, you just meant it platonically because we're just friends. <laughs> uh. Wow, you, you friendzoned her before she could friendzone you. That's impressive. So I'd like to um talk to you about something. Then she <laughs> kisses you. <laughs> Half tempted to. What is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I. 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 I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You see, I. I. Oh, forget it. Undying. I. I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and, and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel s special. But, like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne! I can't take this any longer! I'm mad in love with you, oh god. Hold me, Undyne, hold me! Oh. 
What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two... on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only, only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that she was like scientifically important, really I just used it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas, and that time I... Elvis. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. I wasn't some nerdy loser. Elvis. I'm dying. I, I really think you're neat, okay? Office. Shh. Are you gonna suplex her? <laughs> Buckets. Alphys! I, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about it is the fact that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. I'm dying, you... Are you gonna train me? Psst, what? Me? It's the Bone Boy! Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. <laughs> get those bones shaking! It's time to jog 100 laps. Hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne. I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. Those are still real, right? Enemy's real, right? Anime is very real. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords! Magical princesses! Here I come! <laughs> she broke. <laughs> uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later! And we're here again. Alright, so... Yeah, that was an interesting date, question mark. We're just gonna... Go ahead and... I swear, if I rock the wrong way again, I'm gonna be very upset. Oh! Hmm. Accidentally got here. Hoi! Welcome to Tim Village! Hoi! I'm Tammy! And this is my friend, Tammy! Hoi! I'm Tommy! And this is my friend, Tommy! Hoi! I'm Tammy! Don't forget my friend! Are you Tammy? Hi. I'm Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Check. Tim Job. God, why am I talking like this? Tim, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tim, proud parent. It's hard boiled. Oh, no. But Tim heard a human's allergic to Tim. That okay. Tim understand. Tim also allergic to Tim. What? Dog, cat, creature, you're allergic to yourself. Hoi! <laughs> Hoives! <laughs> mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my hyphae. 
I struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. Interesting. Mm, 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 mm. I thought those, that thing down there was his eyes. Turns out they were his nose. If only I could see the world above. But even if the barrier was open, how would I leave? This is just getting deeper and deeper. Mushroom dance, uh, ever could it mean? Uh. If only I could see the world above. Oh, it's the same thing. There's a Tim in the crack. Feeling of being watched. Statue of Tim. Very famous. Very! Use the box. Okay. You feel something. You're filled. You're filled with determination. Yes. Determination. Hoi! Welcome to the Tim Shop! Whoa! You got dog salads! I gotta have that dog salad, but I gotta pay for college! Tim always wanted dog salad! Um. Sure. Thanks, purchase. Say hello. Hoi! I'm Timmy. Hoi! I'm Timmy, okay. Us Tim have a very deep history. That, that's it? About shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go to Tim shop. Oh, Timmy, you're a wonderful character. Ah, thousand, you say? Colleague, Tim pursue higher education. Tim flake, very expensive. Tim flake, on sale. Tim flake, a thousand plus. See, buying this. Whoa! That's a lot of months. Can Tim really accept? Okay, it's time to go to college and make you proud. <laughs> and the face remains. And Timmy returns from college. With a hat. <laughs> Tim back from Cool Lake! Tim learned many things. Learn to sell new items. Yeah! Hoi! Welcome to the Tim Shop! Timmy Armor. Yeah, that that's that's the that's the thing. <laughs> if you if you actually sit there and try to buy Temi armor, hey, you could you can make it. It's just ridiculously expensive. Two thousand six hundred gold. I'm not about to sit through that. So moving onwards, we're going back on track. We're gonna head to Alpha's lab, and I think we'll do a little bit of that, and then I'll call it a night or day, I guess. Because that segment is decently long. It's not a quick one episode, call it a day type thing. It, it's decent. It's a decent chunk of story in there. Lots of dialogue, lots of puzzle solving. And then that leads into the final major story elements of Undertale. So we're coming up on the end yet again. But we got one more thing to solve before we do that. So we'll go ahead and work on that in this coming episode, guys. As soon as I make it back to Hotland. Because this is a trip and a half, I swear. Okay, after what feels like an eternity, I'm back at the lab. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Oh. It's a note from Alphys. Read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear, this isn't anyone else's problem but mine. If you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door north of this note. You all at least to know, deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. All right. Warning, warning. 
Elevator losing power. M third. M E M tether losing. <laughs> okay, dropping altitude. Whatever. I don't care. I screwed that up at the end. Jesus Christ. I mean, I guess we're here. Hmm. Entry number one. This is it. It's time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being practical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of the most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. The True Laboratory. Alright guys, we're going to leave the episode off here, however. So, we'll go ahead and explore the rest of the True Lab in the next episode, and hopefully finish off Undertale with a true ending. But other than that, guys, I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already a part of the Curly Crew. That way, you guys already know when I drop a brand new episode. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Undertale, and I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.